Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna and on the last episode we went and gathered a whole bunch of hematite. Now there is still plenty to be collected over there but we're gonna start by smelting these. Now before we get to that I did a little bit more wandering around and I've located a merchant which had interesting things for sale like uh, redwood seed and kapok seed which I'm not exactly sure what that's going to give, but I think I'm going to plant them uh, right close to my house in a place I know I won't destroy. So we got plenty of seeds planted here already. Uh, do I have a place here that hasn't had a seed planted? And of course, I had to start the episode during the night, right? Okay. Oh, look at that. Dormant. Okay, wow. So I think some of the trees have been growing slightly. That's a great thing. So uh, we have a... Uh, <laughs> freaking seeds here seeds there seeds freaking everywhere so i got over here and i guess i can plant another one a little further away right here and we'll see what we're gonna get out of that so as you can see i destroyed my other little place that i had to make my uh my molds my kilns and i've started uh, moving things around here like the forge uh over here I've got my copper anvil. I got some uh, shelled rock polish because I'm going to want to put my fires over here. That's where I'm going to be doing most of my smithing from now on. It's going to be my smithy. Now, eventually that might change. I mean, when we get to the other stage, which is uh, going to require a, a bigger furnace, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't gotten to that stage in the game yet, but I guess I'm going to discover it as I go along. Right, Rick? Yeah, you're going to look at YouTube videos and you're going to tell me how we do everything, right? Right? Oh, well, you, you, you suck, Rick. All right. Anywho, I had my container over here and inside I put a couple of bloomeries. So we're going to set those down. I'm going to put them over here for now and like this. And uh, now I'm going to put the chimneys on as well. And there you go. All right, so all of these are ready. Now I just need to get the resources to start this up. So first of all, I'm going to collect the hematite. I don't know how many it's going to take. I'm going to take two stacks for now, just for testing purposes. And I'm going to be taking the charcoal as well. I just want to get this started at least. So while it's cooking, I can get on to other projects that I had in mind. I'm going to fill it up to the brim. I don't know how many I can fit in there. Seriously. Uh, go. Fit it. Nope. Full. Okay, I can put 120 nuggets in each. Well, you know what? I'm going to go get the rest of it and fill all of them up. Uh, I'm not even clicking anything. Why the hell is it doing it by itself? That is weird. Is it like an automatic thing? When I'm in front, it'll automatically feed it? Or is my character possessed by some sort of weird ghost? What is going on, Rick? Okay, so all of this is filled. I'm pretty stoked about that. That's great. Uh, is it going to automatically... Ah, okay, but freaking hell. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. So for some reason, it automatically wants to insert it inside of the bloomery base. So look at my guy go. Look at that. <laughs> Rick, zoom on that. Yeah, he he just can't help himself. It's like a, some sort of a spasm he has. Okay, well, that was weird, but I, I think it stopped now. All right. So let's light all of these up. And there you go. Everything is uh, is working perfectly. Sweet. All right. So I know I do need to finish this little building of mine here. Um, yeah. As you can see, I've used andesite cobblestone for the main parts of the building here. And I put some shale cobblestone for the flooring. But I might uh, kind of change things around. I think the sun is about to rise. Yeah. I might uh, change and decorate it a little differently eventually. I'll need to put some windows as well. Make this place all nice and cozy. But in the meantime, on the last episode, I talked about doing some more type of work, some different type. And that had to do with the plaster. So let's grab it all. And in the meantime, I'll just put these uh, cobblestone blocks inside of the container here. As to not take too much room, I need a hammer and I need my chisel as soon as I remember where I put it. Oh, it's in my inventory. Hot damn. So let's just uh, throw away the rest of this uh, hematite for now. We'll get back and do the rest of it uh, after this batch is done. And I just want to grab a spare pickaxe before 
before I start the project. I got two of them. A little something to eat. I got the choice between a hefty carrot and onion stew, a hefty onion carrot stew, or a or six servings of scrambled egg with onion garnish in pot. Now, eh, this one is the one that's gonna go bad the first, so let's just chow down before I actually start working. All right, so let's get to it. Well, apparently I, uh, I, I destroyed the things that were there. Oh, fine. Let's just stick them back on there and put everything back in its place. And I could eventually move that a little later if needed. And apparently the same thing happened to my molds. Um, great. Uh, the only thing is that these molds were meant to be going in the other place anywho. Really? Really? A medium temporal storm is approaching? Uh, don't you think it's not the right time for that? What the freaking hell are you doing there, sir? Oh, great. All right, so we'll try and get as much work done as we can before the freaking temporal storm starts. Oh, that's going to be a pain. I wasn't expecting this right now. Ah, so over here, that little spot was meant for uh, crucibles and stuff like that. I guess I could put the racks up here. It's going to be kind of like a little bit in the way. Maybe it's a little tight spot. I'm going to put them there for now, and we'll see about where I can put them afterwards. All right, you know what? This is this is kind of really practical, but you know what's even more practical? Just a normal box. I could stick them all in there. It wouldn't take so much room. Yeah, I think that would be the wisest thing to do. Uh, sir, I really don't like having to do this, but I believe you have... You leave me no choice! Die, you freaking big horn scum! Just like the other one there. Keep headbutting me all the time. Yeah, you know what? I, now I actually feel bad. Oh, poor fella. He just wanted in. That's all he wanted. He wanted in. Thank you for your sacrifice, my dear friend. Uh, you can remain the pile of bones. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. i sorry if I frighten you guys. You know, the worst part is, is I totally uh, did not remove these two blocks and replace them earlier. Uh, so I had to make myself some more planks. And let's just stick these blocks there. You see, nothing happened. Great. Let's get back to work. Rick, fast forward. Well, so far I'm looking at one side here, and I do like the looks of it. I think it's gonna look great at the end. And let's take a look at the other side as well. Yeah, looking good. Just gotta do that part, but I think I'm gonna kind of add uh, a layer there, because on the other side, that's where my kitchen is. And uh, I don't know if pla having plaster there is a good idea. Well, I think it's lunchtime. It is well deserved. Eat myself a little meal. And uh, kind of get ready at the same time uh, before the temporal storm arrives. Now, uh, look at look at that. <laughs> Freaking snow is melting, ice is melting. Yep, I think we're going to be able to start planting stuff quite soon. Right now, if I look at here, it's still uh, zero degrees. But I think winter is slowly starting to F off. And look at that. It looks like it's close to an eclipse. Oh, is that what's provoking the temporal storm? Never noticed that before. If you don't mind, Todd, I'd like to bring you with me inside. Maybe we can have ourselves a little chat while the temporal storm is going on. There you go. Yeah, glad to have you with me. I totally agree. I still don't understand what the freaking word you're saying, but I do agree. All right, so all of this over here, I suppose I could turn into a plaster, except for that little section here. Yeah. One thing I'm pretty sure of is I am not going to have enough material to do the whole freaking house. I got 17 pieces left. Bummer. Okay, and this is how it looks. Uh, 
it kind of looks a little stupid since I only have one wall over here. But I guess if you look from the other side, like this little section here, it looks a little better. Yeah, I do, I do like it. I dig it. Of course, I'm going to have to uh, kind of chisel some little wooden things here below that. Maybe on top. Make it nice and cozy. Make it a little bit more welcoming. Maybe even put some flower pots on there. Who knows? So to begin with, I'm going to put that last little piece of plaster over here. Throw away the rest of these pieces. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to throw them all away. There's very, very specific pieces here. And maybe I'll just toss them in a hole and bury them. And they can stay there until they despawn. not waste Rick I can get cobblestone how much I, I want I, I don't care I can make some more don't worry about it there's enough resources around to last me a freaking lifetime so let's put that away and a hammer as well let's try to clear up my inventory okay Lake so take take that and uh, take these as well that oh my god I got so many I just just toss it in there yeah don't need you maybe i could use you somewhere else but uh you're just gonna take room in my inventory right there decompose do do what you have to do all right let's go check the bloomeries and see how those are going Ooh. all right so these are already six iron bloom each well we're gonna destroy them one by one and hells yes and now it says that the uh damn emerald storm is imminent well, we're going to have to ride this one out, guys. You know what? This kind of sucks. I feel like we just had a temporal storm. What the hell? Oh, hi. Hey. How's it going? Current Rick activity very high? Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. So that's about to start. I feel the energy rushing towards me. Got some more carrot seeds here. Those are all my seeds. I'm going to have to uh, start getting that ready soon enough, but not tonight. No siree, or not today. Yeah. Yeah. This is looking back. Oh, look at the cog. Look at that freaking thing. It's huge. Hi. How's it going, cog? Uh, yeah, I, I should go inside. Hmm. And maybe it would be a wise idea to have my shield at my disposal in case some of these little fellas decide to appear. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Going inside. You know what? I'm just going to stay in here and uh, I'm going to cower in the corner. I'm, I'm going to stick around with Todd. Hey, uh, Todd. Um... I know that last time we could speak because there was a temporal storm. Uh, are, are you able to speak this time? Of course, Raccoon. Oh, that is awesome. Great. Uh, yeah, it is a little faint there. Maybe you can adjust your volume or something. Maybe the storm is weaker than the last. Let me adjust. Great. Is that good? Okay, yeah, no, that sounds good. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Todd. What, what are you? I'm a straw dummy, of course. Well, I know you're a straw yeah, dummy, but are you? Oh, hey, wait a second. We're going to have to uh, postpone this conversation for a little bit because I got friends here. Might be more friends coming in. Okay. Things look a little clear. We're good. So, yeah, Todd. So, I, I know you're a straw dummy, but I mean, you're not just a straw dummy. You're able to talk. I used to be just like you, but now I'm this. Oh, that sounds weird. The storm affects us all in different ways. Most turn into the drifters, and for me, I turn into a straw dummy. Okay, so you got, uh, you were alive once, and you died, and you possessed a straw dummy. That's about it. I know it's weird. Well, that is some weird crap right there. All right, we got some more over here, and you know what? I could use some of these uh, temporal gear. So if you'll excuse me, I shall ba battle them. Yes, to the death. Get them, yeah, Rakuna. take that. I doubt I'm gonna get some uh, some of the temporal gears from these guys. They're just level zeros, but heh, whatever. Might as well. Hey, sir. Yep, die. Yep, thank you. So why is it that I can hear you only during the uh, temporal storms? The temporal storm acts as a bridge that crosses over the thin layer that separates both of our realities. Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand how it all works, but I find that quite odd myself. That is odd indeed. So when we're outside of a temporal storm, uh, do, can you actually understand me? I can't really. You look like a monster then. Uh, no way, that's exactly how I hear you as well. Kind of creepy though, but uh, no, it's okay, it's fine. So yeah, Todd, before we finish this temporal storm, I think we should have a selfie together. The temporal storm doesn't allow me to have any facial expressions. Alright, that's great. Uh, cheese! 
I might have blinked. There you go. Screenshot taken. Anyways, Todd, not that I don't want to talk, but we got to wait out this uh, temple storm out and we got to get uh, some iron done. All right, Rick, you know what to do. Oh, you think I'm crazy because I'm talking to an imaginary uh, straw dummy? I talk to you, don't I? Okay, maybe that's a little different to you, but uh, for me, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm talking to an imaginary friend, an imaginary character. Uh, yeah. Anyways, skip it. All right, bye-bye, big gear. Bye-bye. Ah, okay, so, yeah. No, nothing much happened, no real incident. I only had, like, level zeros appeared in my house. So that wasn't too much of a problem. I didn't get killed like last time. Now, of course, there's still going to be the stragglers outside. We'll be taking care of them uh, a little later. I will be needing a door for the other place outside uh, for the new forge. And, of course, I'm going to be needing some more andesite. Maybe try and complete it a little bit so we can uh, work inside of it without being bothered by all these fellas. Hi. Hey. How's it going, all of you? Yep. Just going to kill you all one by one. Rick, fast forward this. All right, so I killed a whole buttload of them, and now it is time to uh, get over here. So let's focus on finishing at least uh, the basic shape of the house so we can uh, work in kind of a peaceful area. I'll worry about making this place a little nicer afterwards. I just don't want these guys to be able to come in. Thus, why I made a door. Yeah, I'm going to close that little freaking thing off. And I'll worry about the roof a little later. Uh, can you please get out of there? D this is not meant for you guys. I close the doors there. And uh, I suppose I can just stick my door down here and we should be good. Oh yeah, nobody can come in. Oh, you bastard. Okay, okay. What the hell? Where the freaking hell did you come from? Did you fly inside? Do you have wings? I think they might have kind of climbed up over there. I'm just going to have to remedy this there. I don't want them. Yeah, they can totally come up here and do that. And there you go. This should be a little better. Yeah, they won't be able to come in. And we'll be able to do our first iron ingot. Now, uh, sadly, you can't make iron ingots with a copper anvil. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that you absolutely need at least a bismuth bronze. Any, any type of bronze, I believe. A tier two uh, anvil. And that's why I made uh, this little fella. Yeah. So let's grab this in our hand. Holding it in my right hand only because it's not heavy enough. I can carry that easy peasy. It's fine. Let's put that down over here. Now I'm going to be moving uh, all of my coal. Maybe I can leave the brown coal here. That could be a good idea. And I'll make myself a wooden chest that I can bring over to the other side where I'll be able to, uh, you know, keep some stuff over. Like probably all the coal, I'll, I'll leave it in there. There you go, got a snug little place for you, my friend. And I don't know how much it's going to take to uh, heat this thing up to the correct temperature. Let's, uh, let's start it up. There's that freaking annoying dude there. Gonna head over to the other side and uh, kill this dude. And at the same time, I think I'll be getting some windows. Yeah, die. Just get out of my freaking way, please, will ya? Oh, I'll need a couple of lead. I'll need a couple of planks, which I believe I don't have enough. So let's have a couple of windows done. Just stick those like that, that here, and that, that. It should make me a couple of windows. Put the rest of these planks away for further use, and these uh, you know, glass material, I'm just gonna leave them there. And of course, we mustn't forget the hammer. So window here, and here. Stick one over there, there. Over here. I guess we got enough windows for the whole freaking building. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That looked nice. Okay. I don't know if this is hot enough. I think it is. Now, I know some of you are watching me do this are, and are like, hey, you, you know you can do that on the uh, health hammer, right? I know. I know very well that you can do it on the health hammer. And that's how I'm going to do it afterwards. But right now, I want to show how it is done by hand. So basically, when you uh, when you get this piece here, it'll be full of uh, junk of crap on it. You just gotta hammer it out. This is the first step. 
So you just do it one piece at a time until you got a fully clean block of iron. And after that, you just gotta move your iron little pieces here to the correct spots. Just fill it in as if you were basically crafting uh, any type of item. So I'm kind of happy that you can do this with the uh, elf hammer. Otherwise, this this seems like it would be like a very, very tedious project to do for each and every iron ingot. That would be insanely long. So let's get the rest of these little pieces in place. That there, that there, that one up. Yep, that one up, I said, that one up. No, you're not gonna let me put it up, right? Okay, you go left. There you go. And then we can just uh, pretty much rip off the rest. Oh shit, I knew I was gonna do something like that. <laughs> I was kind of hesitating on a hit there, and there you go. So we got ourselves an iron ingot. Yay! Cheers! Everyone's happy. I'm gonna have to bring water in here, just so I can do that so very satisfying hissing when you drop it in the water. Let's do it! <laughs> yes. So, we have iron. Now, what can we do with iron? All freaking sorts of things. So we could probably just say uh, use a chisel on it, make ourselves some iron bits, maybe use our mold and make a better sword. We can actually make an iron short sword head. I wonder if that more powerful. We can make ourselves a better shield, pickaxe, and uh, you make iron padlock. What the freaking hell is that for? Anywho, you can make everything, everything out of iron. I know that I'm going to need uh, these iron uh, pounder caps tier three. I don't think I'll have time to do that today. What I want to do is, uh, you know, I've uh, gotten a lot and a lot of iron, and I'll need to go back and collect some more. So what I want to do is get more iron done. Uh, sadly, I think I only have enough iron to make myself another stack right now. Hey, sir, how's it going? No, I won't take your chocolate. Uh, you, you can just freaking die. Yeah. And I know I've talked to so about so many projects that I wanted to do, like move this a little further. Uh, why is it so dark outside? Let's have our lantern out. Yeah, I, I still need to clear all of this out so we can move the farm a little further away. Why am I seeing so many animals outside? Yeah. Probably some wandering chickens. They just all want to be in there. They all want to be with me. I understand the feeling. Don't laugh, Rick. That's not funny. Making fun of me, how dare you? Now, sadly, I can only make one at a time, unless I get more forges out there. But that's okay, I do have time. So let's uh, wait for this thing to heat up. In the meantime, I'm gonna start my other bloomery. Set you down here, stick the chimney on top there, throw in all the hematite, a dabble of charcoal, a smidgen of torchlight, and a whole lot of love. All right, now we just gotta wait for that to be done. Okay, so I needed to add another charcoal in there, apparently because uh, before I think the thing was already at 200 or so degrees, so I really needed to have it already hot. So that one's ready, let's take it out. Let's put that one in. Now what you wanna do with the one that is hot is you stick it on the help hammer and uh, you, you'd probably want to connect it as well. There you go, do it, do it faster. Uh, really? Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, great. Now that I want to show the people how this is done on the half hammer, the freaking thing is not getting any wind power. Uh, hello, windmill? Could you, could you please work? Maybe we could blow on it. I think these things tend to work better if uh, there's wind outside. Uh, uh, okay. So I wanted to make also a break. Yeah, for when I'm not using it. I could just stop everything. And I suspect that it's it's going to work. But for that, I'm going to need one wounded axle. And uh, that is for making a break right over here. So we just got to, you know, use the little guide here and copy what the freaking hell it says. Quite simple, I might say. And there we go. We have ourselves a break. I'm not exactly sure if that's what we need. Let's just give it a go. Okay, so it is quite an interesting contraption. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'm gonna put that over here. I wonder if I could just stick it in there. If it's gonna work or if it has to be on a particular side. Um, <laughs> are, you, are you gonna make things complicated for me? Is that is that exactly what's gonna happen right now? Uh, a little closer. You were almost there. Try this again. How the hell did that end up 
you know what? No more questions. Nope, that's not it. Not it either. I feel like I'm an idiot. I feel, I feel like I'm doing something extremely wrong. I think it's just not going to work like that. You know what? You just keep working eternally, okay? How, how about that? In the meantime, that thing is going to get too cold. It's not going to be able to do what I wanted it to do. Aha! Uh -huh. You've decided to work at last. Are you going to be able to finish it before it's, uh, it's too cold? I think it's too cold. I freaking think it's too cold. Is it too cold? Partially worked iron. You know what? Okay. Let's heat that little sucker up a little bit. And now that we have the wind working, let's try it again. Now do not disappoint me. There you go. All right, good. Let's get it done. And huzzah! Yeah, see? It works. Well, I, I think that I could have done it a little faster if I did it by hand, but, uh, you know, at least I can have the Hellvammer working on it while I'm busy doing other stuff. All right, you got more work to do. I got a lot of iron to do, so, uh, yeah. And uh, that, I believe, is where we're going to part. I'm going to be doing all of the iron ingots that I can. And after that, on the next episode, we're going to be looking at what tools we'll be doing. And at the same time, might be looking at completing this building. Have a nice little forge. Maybe make it look a little bit more interesting. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button. So I'll see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.